and gentlemen, let's play with a program called My SketchUp. When you go to My SketchUp, uh, make sure that you've got your pop-ups allowed because it uses a lot of them. And then I'm going to always tell it always allow flash on this site as well. When you first go uh, after hitting reload, you want to sign in. Notice they mentioned that the pop-up window was blocked. That was why we tried to do pop-ups and choose always allow on this site it'll want to reload I tell it okay this time when it comes back I can get my pop-up set up uh, I'm gonna try and sign in again there is my sign in with Chrome and I want to sign in with Google I'm using my school account and boom I am in um, once you're in make sure you pick your simple template millimeters the dude is in our way, so you can just click on him and get rid of him. And let's design something cool and simple. Alright friends, our cool project is going to be a fidget spinner. I'll click on this tool, which will be a rectangle, and switch it to a circle. Take that circle, and I want you to do 11.15. So you click and make it wiggly, and then while it's still wiggly, so you let go of the mouse, you type 11.15 and press Enter. That made a tiny circle that we need to zoom into. The best way to zoom to it is to click this button and switch to the zoom to extents. Then you can see the groovy little uh, circle that you made. This is the exact size that I use when I make a bearing. Next I want you to switch from probably the push pull to what we call the offset tool. This little dude is wicked cool. Uh, use him to, and make him wiggly as well. So you click on the edge and then let him go. And press 4 to make a border uh, of 4 around your bearing hole. The next part of this cool little trick is to use the protractor. So when you click this button, it'll probably be the tape measure. But I want you to switch to the protractor. And then we need to set uh, our zero side and our 120 degree angle. So you can just rotate around till it says 120 and click and make it exist. Click on that 120 again and go back to 120 again. So now you've got two pieces of pie. Uh, click on any one of those. Click and rotate and do the last 120. So you've got all six pieces of the uh, pie cut up. At this point we can get rid of our center circle. Grab the entire piece and do control. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the... No, I'm going to keep it all. So grab the entire piece and do control C and control V. When you set it down, what's cool is if you hover over the edge, it lets you switch to the middle. So I'm holding it by the middle, and I'm just overlapping it about halfway. But I'm making sure that I'm on that center line, which is really dandy for making our angles come up groovy. Do control V to drop another one. Hover on the edge, go to the center dot, move over two slices of pie, so 120 degrees, and once again overlap that about the same. It's probably not going to be totally perfect, but it's going to be darn close. Do control V to paste it one more time, move to that center dot. It infers that you want the corner, and you can move over to the next second chunk of pie and put it about halfway as well. So now you've got your fidget spinner outline. Press the spacebar to switch to the select tool and delete the little edges so that your shape is all of a sudden, and I didn't mean to get rid of that protractor line, but it really doesn't hurt anything. Um, now you've got a solid shape. Now use the wonderful push-pull tool and push-pull that little butter up um, a total of 7 millimeters, and you have just created a really nifty fidget spinner in no time. I'm going to call this movie done and I'm going to hit save. I'm making sure I'm in my SketchUp folder. Uh, you've got to click and go in there to save it. And then put down, why don't you put first spinner or whatever you want to call it with your initials and save it. And congratulations on designing your first spinner. Stay tuned for mo more movies. Learning how to make that even more epic.